Hey everyone, day six of no poker vlog. Um, first day that we won't mention the Black Friday fiasco of 2020 or the non-Black Friday of 2020. So I guess technically tomorrow will be the first time that I won't mention Black Friday again. It is still Thanksgiving weekend though. So typically a Saturday Thanksgiving for me means a lot of Black Fri Friday recovery as well as um, Thanksgiving leftovers. I will say the one thing that I am most upset about, it's not missing my family or not getting to spend time with them or any of those kind of things. It's the fact that my mom normally makes so much food and Lindsay's mom normally makes so much food that I have tons of leftovers to kind of cover me through the whole weekend for food. I mean, there's nothing better than coming home um, after the poker event and just eating up some leftovers, hanging out. I definitely miss that because we have like zero leftovers whatsoever. Uh, we barely made enough turkey to kind of cover me and the kids and the wife. So really we're out of turkey and it's really not as much fun to eat stuffing and mashed potatoes by themselves. I need that turkey to go in the middle somewhere. Um, anyways, so Saturday is normally a Thanksgiving leftovers Saturday kind of day. No leftovers. Sorry. Day six vlog. I'm, I'm feeling the the heat of staying inside and not getting to see anybody for Thanksgiving. So what better way to get out of your Thanksgiving funk than to put up Christmas decorations. That's not the only one we put up, but there's plenty more where that came from. Um, all the stockings are up. I really didn't do anything about that. I just kind of got them out of the crawl space and moved it around. But we did get to put up um, with the kids all kinds of decorations inside. Um, Lindsay talked me into doing the uh, lights outside, so I did that. Then all the neighbor kids came over and the sweet little girl from down the street who's seven called me butt face for literally 45 minutes. I wanted to boot her in her butt off of the front yard, but I didn't because I'm a nice guy, apparently, and a sucker. So I got called butt face all day and yelled at for not playing hide and seek, which is what I normally do. But anyways, put up Christmas lights, put up some interior decorations, so it's good. I'm not a big fan of putting up the Christmas decorations right after Thanksgiving. I think it's an absolute no-no to put it up before Thanksgiving. Uh, normally we wait until like at least December 1 is when I'm kind of cool with putting out the Christmas decorations. But this year, 2020, kind of all bets are off. Whatever you guys want to do is good by me. Um, certainly we did it today. Watched a little Home Alone. Uh, we watched Elf last night. So it was great. Kids like both movies, so it's super fun for that. And they're good feel good holiday movies. So we got that going on. Speaking of what we're watching right now, uh, Lindsay and I, Lindsay's my wife, in case you didn't know, my wife and I have been watching The Queen's Gambit. That is the next in line after Yellowstone is The Queen's Gambit. Let me tell you, I got one episode left. I'm going to finish it tonight. So by the time you watch this tomorrow, um, Sunday, we'll have already watched the end of The Queen's Gambit. It's awesome. Starts out a little slow. I would say I'd give it like a five on episode one, but we're at like a solid nine and change right now for the end of this uh, this limited series. I really, really hope they come out with more. I'm not quite sure how it's going to end, but hopefully they're going to continue it on because it's an awesome, really cool story considering it's um, about chess. You would not think a show about chess would be exciting and, um, you know, mind tingling and all that kind of good stuff, but it's great. It's super good. I think the next thing we're gonna watch after Queen's Gambit is Fargo. That is my dad's suggestion. He says it's really good. The TV series, not the movie, although I will probably watch the movie first, just to kind of get myself reacquainted with everything. Um, so Fargo's on the next bet, which brings me to the contest. We are still doing the contest, so please, please, please leave me a comment either on Facebook or YouTube. Let us know what videos, or what videos? Anybody watch his videos anymore? Let me know what TV series, movies, anything that you guys are into right now that you're watching while you're staying at home because there's really nothing else to do. Let me know what you're watching. Give us a shout out. No right or wrong answers. Just a comment. We'll get you into the drawing. We'll randomly pick somebody. Give away at least one deep stack seat. If we get more comments, we've been pretty good on the comments so far. I'll give away more than one. And then we'll always give away one for the um, the date or the number of days. So either the date we're going to be back or the number of days in between November 13th, which was the last CCG event, and the next event. So if you can spike off one of those. The math will be a lot harder and something I might mess up. So a date's probably easiest and safest to do. <clears throat> we did get our first March um, contest entry. March 3rd, I was pretty sad about that. I certainly hope it's not going to be March. Hopefully it'll be sometime in January, but only time will tell. So we'll see how many no days of poker vlog we can get in. Um, other than that, 
It's really all we got going on. Contest, Christmas is on its way, doing some holiday decorations, which are great. Hopefully you guys are having fun at home. Let me know what you're watching. Let me know when you think we're gonna be back. We will see you tomorrow for day seven. You have until, um, you can comment up until Monday morning and still be in the contest for the number of days of poker before we are not back or when we're back. So the date one will expire at the end of the weekend. So get those comments in as soon as possible. Thanks as always for watching. Thank you guys for being you. It's definitely my Thanksgiving wish is that I get to see you guys as soon as possible. If I'm allowed to do a Thanksgiving wish, that would be cool. If not, still gonna wish for the same thing. Anyways, hit that subscribe button, like, rate, review, subscribe, all the cool stuff. We will see you next time. Thanks everybody, bye.